Ah, yes. Pretty Ricky kick it off our new Bears Now mailbag. Is that the Pretty Ricky? He says, could the Bears be shopping Tyler Scott or Valus Jones after signing DeAndre Carter? I would certainly be surprised if they were trying to shop Tyler Scott in particular as he's only been here one year. And I kind of liked what I saw from him as a, as a rookie, although he was inconsistent. But I think he showed some potential to get open as a route runner. Now, you look at his receiver depth chart. I will say this, Shane Waldron likes receivers with size. Tyler Scott's not a very big guy, right? Valus Jones is a little bit bigger than him. He's about six foot 215. So he's got some girth. Um, I'd be, again, I, it would surprise me if they punted on Tyler Scott already, but you certainly never know when, again, when new coaching staffs, when new coaches come in and they have influence, uh, things can certainly change in a hurry if you're not established. So uh, keep that in mind. With that being said, name a player that you think the Bears should trade. Is there someone on this roster they should try to move on from? Obviously, you know, if a team kept calling on Bayless for a late-round pick, I think you'd have to consider it. Uh, let me know which player you think uh, the Bears should trade. The Not Cast with the Super Chat, appreciate it. He says, you find a genie, would you rather get a guaranteed greatest of all time uh, this year and hope our offense lives up to the hype or guaranteed Chiefs offense with the defense we got? So, oh, so you're saying, would you rather take the current Chiefs offense with the defense you have or hope you have the greatest offense of all time. I'd probably just take the Chiefs offense, if I'm being honest. Um, I will say this, though. You know, sometimes you get hit with these hypotheticals. Like, you see them on social media all the time. Like, would you guarantee, your, guarantee yourself a championship this year if you missed the playoffs the next 10? You know, most people would say yes, right? Because you get a title, right? But isn't part of the fun of being a sports fan is the unknown, the journey, experience it? If you already know you're going to win it, then it's not as fulfilling. So I just want to see how it all comes together. I want to see what Caleb Williams and this offense can do. Uh, but if you're asking me in a vacuum, like, what's more likely taking the current Chiefs offense, which is very, very good, to help you reach the goal you want to, or hoping the Bears offense reaches a higher level than that? I mean, I'd be pretty stupid to not take the Chiefs offense, I think. Jason M., what kind of season does Dexter need to have for you to say he's the answer at 3-Tech going forward? I mean, he just needs to take another big step forward, right? I, I, his get-off-the-line-of-scrimmage needs to be much better. Um, you know, there's too many snaps last year where the ball is snapped and it takes him almost a full half second to fire off the ball. And, you know, with his physical dominance, he's able to make up for it after that. But you can't do that snap in and snap out. If he can uh, get off the line of scrimmage more consistently and – play the run a little bit more consistently, play better uh, with his uh, pad level. If he can do some of those things and from a statistical standpoint, maybe give you five sacks, I'd feel pretty good. That'd be a step in the right direction if uh, if he were able uh, to, to do those things and fix some of those technique areas I mentioned. Subscribe and join the Nodi gang here at Chicago Bears now. What's the Nodi gang, Harrison? Well, I'll tell you. First of all, you got to hit that subscribe button. Then you turn on the notification bell, and then you select all. The default is personalized. When you select all, that means you're going to receive a notification every time we either go live or publish a video that's non-live. If you do that, you're part of the Noti Gang here at Chat Sports and at Chicago Bears Now. We have almost 94,000 subscribers, but only like 20,000 of you are part of the Noti Gang, so we need more members. Go ahead and follow those steps. Jaron Thomas, do you see a path where Roma Dunze can break Puka Nakua's rookie receiving record this upcoming season? Uh, he mentioned that as a goal of his. I mean, you love the confidence and the, uh, the, the attitude, right? It would be pretty shocking, right? Number one, Puka Nakua almost had 1,500 yards. That's hard for any player in this league. Um, number two, he's behind DJ Moore and Keenan Allen. So if he were to break it, that would almost certainly – lead one to believe that one of the top two guys got hurt, which again, knock on wood, we hope doesn't happen. Or number two, he is insanely good right away and is just your best player. But even then, even if he is your best receiver, I would still have him on the less of that over under Puka Nakua's receiving yards because you still have DJ, you still have Keenan, you still have Cole Komet, you still have DeAndre Swift out of the backfield. I just think you have too many weapons for a 1,500-yard season to be realistic for Roma Dunze. More is him. Hashtag Bears. 
Hypothetically, what could the Bears get for trading Khalil Herbert, in your opinion? Bear down. Uh, get the bear downs in the chat. Uh, I don't know. Sixth round pick, late round pick. He's an expiring contract uh, as a running back. Good player, not a great player. Um, that's kind of what those type of players go for. It's a devalued position unless you're Christian McCaffrey and you can catch 80 balls a year. Um, so I, I said it in the spring. I'll say it now. If it's a sixth or later, I'd rather just keep him because I think one year of Khalil Herbert is worth more than a late, late round pick. So I know they like Roshan Johnson, so if they really want to increase his workload, maybe you consider shopping him. But I, I like Herbert. I think he fits well in this offense, and I'm not going to trade him for chump change uh, when that's in reality probably all you're going to get. Fill in the blank for us. The Bears will win blank games this year. Is it going to be 8, 9, 10, less, more? What's that number? 17 chances at it. How many are they going to win? Fill in the blank for us. The not cast again with the super. He says, what happened to Caleb Williams' wide receiver friend? Did he make the, will he make the team? Uh, John Jackson, the third. He's on the 90-man roster. Um, I'll make a way early prediction here. He is on the practice squad. I don't think he's good enough to be an NFL 53-man roster receiver right now. But he has some developmental traits, and he's a good friend of Caleb Williams. So it's kind of like a win-win, right? You got traits worth developing, keep your quarterback happy. Um, you know, the Chiefs kind of did that with Mahomes his first couple of years. I forget the receiver's name, who was never going to contribute on Sundays, but they kept him on the practice squad. I think his name was Garrick Dieter. Um, him and Mahomes were tight, so they kept him around. Hey, keep your QB happy. You don't have to over please and like put them on the 53 but you got 16 practice squad uh spots put one of them from jackson and uh that's cool with me grego hashtag bears booker should get a lot of snaps his rookie season underrated opinion but i think we shouldn't get another defensive end let book pass anderson's 12 sack second um i think you mean record <sighs> Okay, maybe. Maybe you see how a couple preseason games go, and if you feel like you need more, you add somebody. But I'm still in the camp. I would add another defensive lineman. Uh, now, if you want to add a guy in the interior, that's fine too. I don't really have a preference on position. I just think you need another uh, pass rusher on that front four. I, I'm open to Booker uh, having a role, though. I just I think he's raw. I don't think he's ready to be a starter. Uh, so we'll see. Maybe he proves us wrong, and he hits the ground running as a rookie. Who knows? From Skepter, what's your ranking for each team in the NFC North? I think I would go Lions, Packers, Bears, Vikings, but I think the I think the Bears and Packers are close. Um, I would just have to give Green Bay the edge because they've dominated the head-to-head. -head. But um, I think you can make a reasonable argument saying the Bears, from a roster standpoint, is right there, if not even slightly better than Green Bay's. And if Caleb Williams is the real deal, it wouldn't shock me at all if they beat Green Bay at least once this year and finish with a better record with them. F FGB in the chat. From Petey, whose seat is hotter, Dante's or Valus's? Probably Dante's. Um, but I still think Valus's seat is pretty hot. Like, I, you know, I think the timing of the Carter signing is pretty significant. It's right after OTAs in minicamp. That tells me they want another guy in the mix right and deandre carter is not just some scrub like he belongs on a 53-man roster in this league so he would not sign here for the vet minimum if he didn't think he had a real shot of making this football team so uh i would say dante but i think the real answer is both like you got to produce otherwise you're going to get cut all right, appreciate everybody's questions there. Again, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Once you select all, you're never going to miss out on one of our episodes, whether it's live or video on demand. So be sure to do that uh, after you watch this video.